So are you ready to take some me time and cozy up with a good book? Doesn't that sound good? It sounds great. Yeah. Lori Fazio from RJ Julia Booksellers is sharing a few of her favorite titles. How are you? I'm well. Happy Love New the blouse. Year. Looks great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, very uh, nice. So I'm getting a little, uh, people are, every book that someone buys for me is about mindfulness, yes. spiritualness, meditation, the I, secret. I've I given just, a few of those to you. Oh, the secret. You I, haven't read the secret I yet. I haven't read oh, the secret yet. Burn, Somebody just yeah. gave it to me for mm. Christmas. Yeah. So they're trying to tell me something. Well, I think it's, it's important in life in general but especially in January it's you know the new you know new me new year new you new this new that so you know a lot of people are focusing on that and trying to you know new year's resolutions and good habits and establishing you know just like you were just talking about in the previous segment right. but even something simple which there is so much about a spirituality and mindfulness and that's, that's right. great but even just the idea we just talked about if you just go to bed on time and cuddle up with a good book you're going to sleep better so right. uh you know sometimes that's all really i get to do is maybe read a few pages at night but it does relax me and then yeah I can unwind and you, yeah. you quiets the brain so and and just a couple of pages that actually leads right into this first book um by bj fogg called tiny habits and so it's very overwhelming to think about about, you know, you've got to, you know, meditate for, you know, 10 minutes a day or 20 minutes a day or, but this, you know, he talks about, you can begin small. You can start with saying, okay, I'm going to meditate for two minutes or I'm going to exercise for five minutes. And then you, you get yourself into a routine and then eventually you can build on that if you want to. And you feel like you accomplished something because you did what you said you were going to do. And he has three steps. You know, you have to have an anchor that gets you to do it. Then you have to have the action and then you have to have, you know, celebrate that you've done it. Even if it's just telling yourself, good job, you did those two minutes. And we're we're doing a, um, a webinar with him, oh, cool. so it, it's pretty great. And he's it's just a good it's a good habit to get into. Well, I want some real happiness, Laura. This is the book <laughs> I got you a couple years ago. Really? Yes. So Sharon Salzberg, Real me? Happiness. Yes. yes. Well, I gotta go find it. It has a DVD to, to meditate. <laughs> great. Well, we're having a we're having a program. It's a four week program. It's actually part of this commit to sit for 28 days. You know, and so you you meditate, you think quietly, or whatever it is. We're having every Sunday in the month of February where we have a a guru that's coming to teach you how to do this but then there's also like a daily you can sign up and there's a daily email that comes and gives you direction of something to do each day it's a positive message every day so you could start on february 1st scott so it's, it's at the bookstore on Sundays, on so Sundays. we're doing it on Sundays. But you don't have to necessarily come to that. You could still sign up for the program and right. commit to sit mm. one day every, you know, every day in February. Well, I think it's real happiness. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> I think you should try it. All right, next one, Run Me to Earth. So Run Me to Earth is by Paul Yoon, who is one of my very favorite authors. Um, every single word on his pages um, you think about, you feel, and it's, it's a beautiful book. It's a sad book. It's about three orphans in the 1960s in Laos, and uh, these tragedy, you know, this, this horrible time, and they've got to do what it takes to survive. And each chapter kind of gives you a glimpse into each one of them and some of the characters in the book. His writing is both devastating and beautiful. His characters are the same thing. My favorite book by him is called Snow Hunters. So if you if you like him, you have to read Snow Hunters. It's it's amazing. Same wow. thing though, a little sad at the Snow Hunters isn't as um as dark. Um, but it still has some moments, but it's this beautiful relationship of two people that don't speak the same language and, the, and yet this friendship that, and the bond that they form. He's amazing. Okay. And the next one's called New Kid? Right. So the, the ALA um, Awards for Children's Literature just came out. And so two, ki two um, books that I'm talking about. So New Kid um, by Jerry Craft won the Newbery Award, which is the most outstanding contribution to children's literature. Oh, that's amazing. First time that a graphic novel has ever won. Wow. And it's just a great message about being the new kid in, in the school and how he gets through and what he has to do. So difficult. Such, so difficult. So difficult. And it's done so well. And graphic novels are really, really big these days so which I think it's great to because some schools are really oh don't read a graphic novel and and, and the research shows if they're just reading they're, they're reading yep yeah. and the kids connect through this yeah you know they connect and they understand and you know the kids that don't want to read a straight chapter book you know can do this and find some connection through, through this it. is so funny because this looks like you know the, the guide to dummies books yeah. doesn't it look like with uh, the, right with the, the with the black with the cover and the, the yellow and the yeah. thing yeah but anyway not that that has That's, anything to do with anything, no, but I just doesn't. thought I'd bring it up. But. And this is uh, by, the next one by Supreme Court Justice yep, Sonia, Sonia Sotomayor. Sotomayor. Yep, so, so she's written a book about inclusion, you know, Just Ask, and there's, you know, there's the Spanish version, there's the English version, um, and she won an award for this too, and 
It, it's just a great book. We did an event with her in the fall, and you know her message is just you know it's so extensive. I love when smart people write smart things. Yes. It makes me get, feel like I'm learning something and mm -hmm. I'm getting a getting an education at the same time. And it's a picture book, but there were plenty of adults that were taking this book not only for themselves but for messages that they if they work with kids or you know young adults or whatnot. It's 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 a pretty great book. Cool. Well, thanks, yeah. Laura. Yeah. Always a Thank pleasure you. to see you. And you'll find these books and many others at R.J. Julia Booksellers on Boston Post Road in Madison. There's also a location on Main Street in Middletown. You can visit rjjulia.com for more information.